How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Tony Hawk's Downhill Jam for the PlayStation 2 slash Wii. I guess it doesn't really matter. Um, but in this case, I'm playing the PlayStation 2 version because the Wii has motion controls, blah, blah, blah. Not worth playing it on the Wii. Um, even if it may have some graphics that might be better. Either one, I don't remember either one having very good graphics. So... PS2 because it has um, American Wasteland controls. This is the first session um, of Downhill Jam that I did after a long hiatus in doing Project 8 in between. Um, I kind of stopped Downhill Jam, one, because it sucks. Uh, oh, I bumped my phone, sorry about that. Uh, one, because it sucks. This game sucks. It's not fun, it's repetitive, and it controls like crap. Um, it has a modified American Wasteland engine, so you know, tricks and modif modifications like grind modifications and bone dollies, all that stuff is from Thaw, even like the character models are, or at least the, the Kratos skater is from Thaw. The other characters are, I think, custom um, to this game itself. Um, it all kind of controls like Thaw, but the spinning is slow. It's as if your spin stat was negative 10 so you kind of have this really a lot of resistance when you're spinning and it automatically shifts you back to regular instead of staying switch which is kind of a weird thing to do um, but I don't know I don't know I don't know why it may not switch you back to, to regular but it switches your board um, not necessarily your stance I, I haven't I'm not paying attention to the stance too um, too closely when I say that but Anyway, uh, this game just controls like absolute garbage. Turning and drifting, stuff like that, just it does not work very well. Going back to this game after my break. Um, so yeah, I kind of stopped playing it because I didn't really think I was going to finish it, but I was pretty close to finishing it. Um, hell, it's only, uh, I think there's only four, four, five more episodes. I think it's five. Five more episodes of this and then it's done. Um, I just got done editing all of them, just like I did with Project 8, and all I have to do is commentate. So, I finished it all today, it's Sunday, the day before Memorial Day. I'm hoping to get all of these videos posted this week, Monday through Friday, um, and then I can start fresh. No, no series that are just left hanging, you know? Um, so I think after I finish this up, I'm going to be doing another another uh, extreme sports game not necessarily a Tony Hawk game I'm thinking a different game maybe just like a quick one I'm not sure um, I think I'll throw the poll up maybe I'll throw it up on this video um, if, if there's a uh, check the description if there's a poll in there I'm pretty sure I'm gonna put a poll in this one um, that'll only last this entire week on the next episode, next playthrough you want to see, I'll put a Tony Hawk game in there. I know you guys probably want a Tony Hawk game. I'll put it in there just to see if you know you guys really want it. Um, but I, I kind of want to do another extreme sports game before I exhaust all the Tony Hawk games that I have. Um, the next Tony Hawk game, like I said in Project Eight, I would be doing Proving Ground for PlayStation Two. I actually finished that game on stream, and. Didn't 100% it, but I got 99%. I need to get everything on sick to get, um, to get 100%. I assume, because I still have some outstanding stuff that's not on sick. I might go back to that save file and try to pick them off, but I don't know. I don't know if I can do it. Honestly, it's it's a really tough game. Uh, but yeah, that's the next Tony Hawk game. So that that game will be on there. Um, I'm not really sure what the other games are going to be. Uh, on the top of my head, I'm thinking a good extreme sports game, a bad extreme sports game, a Tony Hawk game, and maybe like a quick play game. You know, like something that doesn't have much to it, so I can just kind of have like a 20 to 30 minute session with that game. Uh, maybe something like, I don't know, Street Skater, 2 Extreme, 3 Extreme, something like that. I'm not sure yet. Just off the top of my head, uh, games that don't have much of a career mode that would last that long. I've never played 3 Extreme or 2 Extreme or Street Skater 1 or 2. 
So I could be ta talking on my ass. I did play an MTV game on stream that was absolute horseshit. It was the worst game I've played. Worst skateboarding game ever. Control wise, look wise, not good. Uh, maybe I'll throw in a Matt Hoffman game. Did I? No, I did it on stream. I played Matt Hoffman Pro BMX 1 on stream. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll do that. I don't know. Maybe I'll put that up there. I'll think about it. If it's not on there, if, if my suggestions that I'm thinking out loud to right now aren't on there, don't be heartbroken. It means that they'll, they'll come eventually, right? Um, I, can, I only have so many things. I have a, an actual list that um, uh, we, we kind of worked out in the Discord of all the kind of sports games that are relative to my, my channel. Snowboarding, skateboarding, BMX, stuff like that. A lot of them I've never played, a lot of them I don't even have. So I'm pretty excited to have a long list of games that I potentially could keep my channel alive for. And I'm getting a text message. I'll put my phone on mute. Um, yeah. Normally, when I do commentaries, it's about in the morning uh, or at night. In the mornings, I usually have coffee. At night, uh, recently, I probably have beer. Um, Today, it is currently, what, so like, it's 6.39 p.m. on a Sunday evening. I have a, a Dunkin' Donuts frozen coffee with me today. I, uh, I've been craving them a lot lately. I've been feeling pretty, I don't know, this is probably pretty relevant, but I, I get praised a lot, uh, on a side note here, I get praised a lot on my, my real, my realism with, with who I am when I, do my content that kind of makes me feel like a lot of content creators these days aren't very real or very um upfront with their emotions you know with the you know you're providing content to people you know, at least you know you can at least tell them how you're feeling that's how i feel anyway. um i kind of got that from not only just living my life but watching uh let's players like nintendo capri sun he's he's as real as it gets man He's one of the coolest people I could even imagine. I've met him. Uh, I've met him. I met him once. I've seen him like three times um, at conventions. Um, but yeah. So, anyway, I I've been feeling kind of shitty lately. Just a lot on my mind. A lot of. I don't. Know, I don't want to say I'm depressed, but I feel. I feel like I'm on the verge of depression again. I've been on and off with depression, and it's just been really fucking stupid. It's been so stupid. I hate it. I may sound... I may sound cheerful right now. I don't know if this actually sounds cheerful. Usually my cheerful sounds monotone anyway, but, man, I only let loose like this when I do commentaries because it feels good to get the content out. It feels good to actually record content, get it out there, to know that it's going to be uploaded. I think once everything gets to the commentary stage, it looks good, you know? If I get all the editing done, and then the commentary, I'm doing the commentary, I'm like, yeah, this video is actually gonna go up. Um, unless my commentary ends up being bad. Um, a lot of the cases, it is, but uh, this is a first take, so let's, let's hope this is good. Um, but I, I think I'm still kind of fresh off the Project 8 playthrough. It's been about a week or two since I recorded the last episode, so... And I haven't streamed for the past couple weeks. Week? Week. I think it's been a week. I took a, a break after Project 8. Um, like I said I would. And I've just been kind of chilling. I've been kind of chilling. Um, but content, I think, has really kind of made my depression more bearable in ways. The depression doesn't really go away. It's just always there, man. It's always, always there. You know, I could be having the best day of my life. And when I finally get home after this long day of having a lot of fun with a lot of cool people, a lot of nice things going on, even when I went to PAX, um, once you sit down and you let your mind just go, that's it, man. That's when you <laughs> the depression just goes. Because you just get sad. I don't know. I get sad a lot. Um... That's probably why I don't sound so cheerful in a lot of my, my streams, my commentary. It's not because of any certain situations that are going on. This certain scenario, I, I am kind of dealing with something that I don't want to. That I haven't really discussed with any anyone public publicly, which is my bad. But I'm not ready for it yet. 
just doesn't have to be a certain scenario that goes on to make me upset or sad. I just, when my mind wanders, man, it goes, man. It's just gone. Um, I love doing this kind of stuff, and I've loved doing it since I've been in high school because it helped me through high school, like I've mentioned a million times, where shit was always on my mind. It was always just so annoying. There was so much so many annoying things in high school and doing these let's plays man it totally helped me through all this stuff and it's awesome and you guys are awesome because you guys basically helped me through all this stuff and it's i hope one day anyone that's struggling with depression i hope you guys find the a similar or the same outlet of kind of relief because it's really nice when you sit down and do something and it makes you happy even if it's only temporary if it's like I'm happy for how long this video is. I don't know, like 15 minutes. I don't even know how long it is. Um, however long it is when I do my commentary. It's like 15 minutes, 5 minutes. Hell, I'll fucking take it, man. I'll totally take it. Um, I wasn't very happy when I was playing this game. I'm glad I'm doing post-commentary on this because uh, it's not fun to commentate this game in, in real time. I spent 30 minutes on one race. And we'll get to that in part like 22 um, I, I just edited all this, so it's kind of fresh on my mind. Um, but yeah, man, it's all. If even if it's temporary, amazing. It's amazing. Um, if it's if you haven't felt depressed for months, man, all the power to you. I feel like I've gone through those phases. Uh, sorry, I, I feel like I've gone through those phases where I'm not depressed for a long time, and you don't think about it. You don't think about how happy you are because. I feel like depression just it overtakes everything you're thinking where you're so consciously sad that you can't think of even being happy but when you're happy you're not like hey I'm not depressed it's like no I'm happy and you're not even thinking that you're happy you're just living your life man and I think that's kind of a an interesting thing I've never actually thought about that until I said that out loud but yeah I never actually thought in my head Huh, I'm happy. Look at that, look at that glitch. I'm glad I caught that. Look at that, my game is fucking... <clears throat> I think I corner glitched into that. Uh, yeah. I never consciously think I'm happy. It could be totally different, I don't know. But, yeah. We all have our, our struggles. No matter how amazing I may seem to some of you. I mean, I'm not. I, that's probably... <laughs> that's probably super douchey to say I'll say that a lot of people praise me and I love hearing you guys you know enjoy my my content and who I am as a person um, I'm glad you guys can can enjoy can enjoy me like my my content that is and who I am but I don't know if I'll ever be that content with myself I that kind of contradicts what I said about myself in the last video where I liked being alone. I love being alone. Um, but I think that's a... I think there's those are two different things where you're finally happy with yourself versus wanting to be alone. I don't know. I'm kind of rambling now. This is the end of the video right here. Those are the last couple seconds. I hope you guys are enjoying Downhill Jam. I'm sure this video has already gone downhill um, with the way I've been talking, but never think that you're alone out there. Always always try to, try to stay positive. There's people out there willing to help you. I'm willing to help you. You guys are amazing. Hope to see you guys in the next episode of Tony Hawk's Downhill Jam for the PlayStation 2. I'll see you guys then. If you happen to watch, have an amazing day. Goodbye.